In the light independent stage of photosynthesis, you take that ATP and that NADPH you uh, produced in the light dependent stage and it is added into something called the Calvin cycle along with carbon dioxide. And that's how you are going to make the glucose, which is the whole point of photosynthesis. So in the Calvin cycle, we start with a molecule called RUBP, ribulose bisphosphate is what it stands for. And we combine that with a molecule of carbon dioxide, which comes from the atmosphere. Now to do that, we're gonna need an enzyme called Rubisco. Now this makes a six carbon molecule, but that six carbon molecule pretty much instantly breaks down into two three carbon molecules called glycerate three phosphates or GP. Now that GP can be further converted into something called glyceraldehyde three phosphate or GALPs. But to do that, we need to reduce GP by adding hydrogens, which we get from NADPH and also we need some energy which we get from ATP. So here is where the products from the light dependent stage of photosynthesis come in. Now this GALP can be converted with uh, ATP back into the RUBP where we started and that is what um, completes the cycle. But not all of the GALP goes back to form RUBP, some of it end up being turned into glucose. And that was the whole purpose of photosynthesis, was to make glucose. Now actually, GALP is the primary end product of photosynthesis um, and is the key molecule for making everything else needed by the plant. Some of it goes to glucose, um, but a lot of GALP gets turned into other things that the plant needs. Some of it goes straight into glycolysis, um, and the Krebs cycle in respiration to make ATP. The glucose um, that is made uh, can actually then be further converted into um, other carbohydrates like starch or sucrose or cellulose to make cell walls. Um, you could add nitrates in which you've got from the soil which can then be the GALP can end up becoming uh, parts of amino acids. You could add phosphates in again which you would, uh, the plant would get from the soil and that could help to make nucleic acids. And some of the GALP that goes into glycolysis and is converted to acetyl coenzyme A can actually be used to make fatty acids. So really, GALP, this product of um, the Calvin cycle, is the main thing the plant needs to make pretty much all of its structures. Now, photosynthesis is a chemical reaction. It needs certain things for it to, to work effectively. There are three factors really that we should, con should consider when looking at the rate of photosynthesis. One is light intensity. Two is the level of carbon dioxide, uh, which will be needed in the Calvin cycle. And three is a temperature. Now temperature has an effect on enzymes and, and enzymes like Rubisco are used a lot in the process of photosynthesis. Now the higher the light intensity, the faster the rate of photosynthesis, provided that there's lots of carbon dioxide and the temperature is warm enough. But if light intensity drops too low, chlorophyll gets excited less in um, the light dependent stage of photosynthesis. Therefore, you get less ATP, less NADPH, um, and therefore you're going to get less uh, glucose produced in the uh, light independent stage of photosynthesis. So that will slow down the whole process if there isn't enough light. Carbon dioxide, now we need carbon dioxide in the light independent stage. It goes into the Calvin cycle. So again, too little carbon dioxide, and we're not going to uh, be able to produce uh, enough glucose in the Calvin cycle, so it's not going to be very effective. But if we increase the levels of carbon dioxide, we're going to increase the rate of photosynthesis until something else like light or temperature become a limiting factor. Temperature, as I said, is very important in the rate at which enzymes work. Too high a temperature, enzymes can become denatured and they won't work effectively. Too low a temperature, the enzymes don't have enough kinetic energy uh, and again, the reactions will happen too slowly. Um, if you look at this graph, you can see how these factors um, have an important role um, in the rate of photosynthesis. If we change the temperature by 10 degrees, we get a higher rate, but then something else will become a limiting factor and slow it down, probably carbon dioxide. It's not in the specification, so I'm not going to cover it directly, but it'd be worth doing some further research and looking up about the difference between C3 and C4 plants, and also um, something called photorespiration.